Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions and welcome to your grade 12 financial maths. Today in our first past paper series, we're looking at a past paper from the Eastern Cape that was written in September 2023. So without any waste of time, let's open the paper and give you your distinction. Okay, here's the paper. I'm going to pin it top. Okay. Okay, it's pinned. Now let's proceed. I believe the space is sufficient. Now let me, okay, let me make it fit to the width. All right, guys, before I proceed, if you are using a mobile device, please rotate your screen so that you can have maximum viewing. Okay. So without any waste of time, let's get into it. And because this is an exam, let's look at some of the instructions that are relevant to us. Remember, they say instruction number two in this paper. It says you must clearly show all calculations, diagrams, graphs, etc. that you have used in determining your answer. Okay. And instruction number four, it says answers only will not necessarily be awarded full marks. Okay. Now... Last instruction is, I believe, it's instruction five, which is important for now. It says, if necessary, round off answers to two decimal places unless stated otherwise. Remember, guys, all these instructions, all nine instructions are important. However, I want to remind you of these ones that I just read now. Okay, so without any waste of time, let's get to our finance section of this paper. So finance is normally in question five or six, even seven. Yeah, no, six and seven, not five and six, six and seven. Right. All right. Perfect. Now, here we are. Let's get into it. So here, question seven. So it says 7.1, Lufezo deposited 97,000 rents into an account that offered interest at 9.1% per annum compounded quarterly calculate how many years it took for this investment to reach 166,433 rents okay so here we have a equals p into 1 plus i close to the power n okay so lufezo will have 166,433 rent. He or she... Okay, I don't know if Lufezo is a male or female. So, he or she deposited 97,000. And then this is, let's see, this is... Uh, interest, it's one. Interest is zero. 9.1% 9 .1 is similar to... 0 0.091 however it's 0 0.091 over 4 because it's compounded quarterly so here the power i'm gonna call it 4n it seems i have to reduce the size it's okay i will reduce it later so this is what you need to do first and first remember it is compounded quarterly now this quarterly is represented here in the denominator of the interest and it's also the coefficient of the number of years so this n will be the number of years okay so let's see 166 166 oh 166433 divided by 97000 it will be okay so this will be, I'm just going to write it maybe five decimal places, 1,71580. Okay, 80 equals, let's see now this. This is 1 plus 0 0.091 over 4. What is it? It is 1,022275. to the power 4 n. Now you use logarithms for n is equal to log.
um, so this is log 1,71580 base 1,02275. Okay, 7, 5. Now let's get our answers. So using our calculators, 1, comma, base 1,2275, and then it's log 1,71580. What do we get? So here we get 4n is equal to 23,9998922. It doesn't matter. Now I will divide this by 4. Okay, you divide this by 4. What do you get? m is equal to, as you can see, it's 5, comma, it's 5,9998. 973 therefore we can say n is equal to 6 years the question is how long did it take uh, uh, this investment to reach this amount so we'll say therefore it took maybe we should say n is approximately 5 of 6 6 comma 0 0 therefore it took 6 years Okay, therefore it took six years. Okay, therefore it took six years. All right, going to the next page. Remember, guys, if you are using a mobile device, please rotate your screen. Okay, please rotate your screen if you are using a mobile device. Okay, 7.2. 7.2, it says on 1 January 2018, a school bought a new bus for 482,000. On that day, they also started a sinking fund to make provision for a new bus in five years. Okay, for a new bus in five years. All right, cool. Now, 7.2.1, over the next five years, the value of the bus depreciated at 14.7% per annum on the reducing balance method. Calculate the trading value of the bus after five years. So 7.2.1, this is A equals P into 1 minus I to the N. Okay, so what is this? The value of the bus today is 482,000 rents. It is depreciating at 14%, which is 0 0.147. For how long? For five years. So what is your answer? So this is 482 thousand one minus zero point one four seven close to the power five what do you get we get so the value of the bus after five years is two hundred and seventeen thousand six hundred and sixty six rent and eighty cents okay and eighty cents okay okay now seven point two point two 7.2.2 it says the price of these buses increases by 8.1 percent per year calculate the price of a new bus on 1 january 2023 that is after five years so now here we're looking at the price of a new bus so it'll be compound interest remember 7.2.1 it was reducing balance depreciation now, what is this? Currently, the bus is 482,000 rent. Inflation, 0 0.8, 0 0.081 to the power 5. Okay, let's go. Okay, so what is the price of the new bus? The price of the new bus is 711,500 rent and 99 cents. Oh, this looks like an actual price, eh? <laughs> okay, it is 711,500 rent and 99 cents. Okay, perfect. Now, the bank offered an interest 7.2.3, by the way. The bank offered an interest rate of 7.3% per annum compounded monthly for a sinking fund. 
the first payment, which is excellent, was made in the fund on 1 January 2018. So this is to say it was made immediately. Okay, guys? It was made immediately. Made um, in the fund on 1 January 2018 and thereafter the same amount. So this tells us that this now becomes an annuity. And thereafter, the same amount was deposited on the first day of each month. The last payment was made on 1 December 2022. So this means it was made a month. The last payment was made a month before this account was closed. Now, on 31 December 2022, the school bus, oh, sorry, the school bought a new bus and used the trading value of the bus as a deposit. Now, calculate the monthly payment into the sinking fund. Remember, now you need to know um, the value of this sinking fund. Okay, the value of the sinking fund. So I will say for us to know the value of this sinking fund. All right, for us to know the value of this sinking fund, it is basically the differences of the amounts we calculated in, in other words, the value of the new bus and the minus the value of the old bus. So the sinking fund will be 711,599 cents minus 217,666 and 80 cents. This is the sinking fund. Remember? Okay. Remember they used the trading value of the old bus as a deposit. Okay. Let's see. So seven, so seven one one five double zero comma nine nine minus two one seven triple six comma eight zero what do we get so the sinking fund is four hundred and ninety three thousand eight hundred and thirty four and and nineteen cents so the school is now saving towards this amount of money okay now remember guys this is a sinking fund and uh, sorry this is an annuity so it's important that you draw a timeline okay it's important that you draw a timeline. Now, our timeline is like this. T0, T1, T2, let me say T3, and so on. This is an investment of five years. So five times 12 is 60. So let me say 58, 59, 60. Okay? So the school is making... um is depositing immediately that is a t not and thereafter on the first of each month all right and thereafter on the first of each month as you can see here as you can see here you need to know how many installments did they make remember installments we call them end what is this it is how what when was the last installment on the 59th month so it's 59 and when was the first installment? On the zeroth month. So 59 minus 0 plus 1. Remember guys, in the introductory videos, I showed you guys that this is what you can use in order for you to pass this. Okay. So now this means that there are 60 payments made. And indeed, when you look at this, from here to here, it's 59. Plus this one, it's, it's 60. Okay. So we are good to go. But... Be careful, guys. There is a gap here. Okay? There is a gap here. So that formula that you know is slightly changing. Let's see. So future value is installments, open bracket, 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 all over i. And all these multiplied by 1 plus i to the power 1. To the power 1 because... It was only one month or one installment that is missed. Okay. Proceeding. We said our... What was our sinking fund? Um, it was 493,834,19. If you guys recall, let me go to the previous page. 493,834 rands and 19 cents. All right. So with this question, we are calculating the monthly payments. So X is unknown. Okay. 
and we have one plus what is the interest 0 0.073 over 12 to the power 60 minus 1 all over 0 0.073 all over 12 then this is 1 plus 0 0.073 all over 12 even if I don't say to the power 1 it's okay okay guys now I know there are those that like uh, quick calculations but if you don't like quick quick calculations we go into calculate the right hand side first okay so let's go what is the right hand side the right hand side becomes let's see it becomes make a fraction open bracket open 1 plus 0 0.073 over 12 close it okay close it to the power 60 minus 1 close it over 0 0.073 over 12 then open another bracket it's um next to the main fraction it's open another bracket so it's 1 plus 0 0.073 over 12 close it now what is this so this becomes 72 uh, 72 comma five nine zero four nine five nine three x okay so you are using a smart calculator guys if you like you can say previous answer divided by answer but i'm gonna write my previous answer four nine three eight three four comma one nine divided by answer so what is what did you get i got six thousand eight hundred and three rents and one cent so the monthly installment is six thousand eight hundred and three rents and one cent okay so in this question the game changer is realizing that the last payment was made on december 1 which is here and right? it was made on december 1 so this is the game changer of this question this is what will give you all your marks realizing that the last payment was made on december 1 so guys this is how you attempt your finance questions and remember this question you should be spending 14 minutes okay you should be spending 14 minutes and if you say you were slow at least spend three minutes extra maybe 17 okay but if you find that you spend more than 17 you must know that you are in trouble move on to the next question you will come back later try to do the questions that are super easy for you and then come to the ones that are giving you a tough time okay so with that being said i was ends here and i must say to you if you enjoyed this video please subscribe uh, follow us on your faith on your favorite social media you can also visit our website ramtasolutions.co.za and I hope you enjoyed this. So, bye-bye.